Welcome to the manipulatives part of the cosine law. We have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, 90 degrees here. We're going to take the square of this side and put it over here, and the square of the short side and put it over here. Now, the cosine is 0 for 90 degrees, which means that the 8 times b component, and there are two 8 times b rectangles, are not involved, so we take these away. And when we put these back on the hypotenuse, or noose, we end up with a 5 by 5, which is what we expect for 25 being the square of 5. So let's try that again with a different triangle. We still need a 3 by 3 and a 4 by 4. And the next one is a triangle with 48.16 degrees for angle C. Once again, 3 and 4 over here. Squaring the 3 and 4 sides. We're going to bring these squared sides over to the A plus B area. Now, the cosine of 48.16 degrees is 0.667, which is 2 thirds. So the magnitude of the effect is 2 thirds of these squares contained in the two rectangles. There are 24 squares, 12 here, 12 here. So 2 thirds of that is 16. But the sine is negative, so the effect is to cancel out 16 others. So we're going to take, here's 12, there's 16, but these are negative because of the change of sign for the value of the cosine, so these will cancel out 16 of the green and blue blocks. So if the, we take these away and we must take 16 away from here. So if we take 16 away, we're left with this, which now is the square of the unknown side. And we have a 3, 4, 3 triangle corresponding to a 48.16. All right. Let's try this again. If I can reset my little casino of cubes. I could use a little assistance with this, I suppose. Let's use 67.68 degrees. Once again, green stands for the side with three. Blue stands for the side of four. Let's try to get this neat. Okay, there's our 67.98 degree angle C. And we take these squares once again and move them over to our big area. The cosine of 67.98 is 0.375. That's 3 eighths. So we now again must consider the 24 squares here. And 3 eighths of 24 is 9, but it's negative. So we need to have 9 here. And these 9 are a negative factor on the mixed term. So 9 taken away from all these, this cancels this out. Okay, this 
is the square of the unknown side. There's, we started with a 3, 4, and now we've got a 4 on this side for the noose corresponding to 67.98 degrees. Okay, what can we do with, let's reset our 2 by 12, 24 squares and an A plus B's. And let's do this now with 117.26 degrees. There's the 4 side. There's the 3 side. Let's transfer these to the big area. The cosine of 117.26 is negative 0.458. So the magnitude is 0.458, which ha just happens to be 11 24ths, but the finished sign will be positive. So the effect will be to have 11 of the 24, but with a positive sign. So now this is added to the a squared and b squared, and 11 plus 16 plus 9 is missed one there. Let's see if I can get this to work out. 11 plus 16 plus 9, if you added it up in your head or on your calculator, you got, well that was an extra one. Eleven plus sixteen plus nine. This is the twenty-four after the eleven has operated on it, after the cosine has operated on it. Here's the A side, four by four square, and here's the B side, three by three square, but rearranged. And we have the noose, the long unknown side, being six because six is the square root of thirty-six.